All right, let's start with something very simple here. <laughs> Where is your plant going to go? Because a lot of times they, when you buy a plant at a store, a house plant, you're going to get it in a little plastic container. And those are great, but they're very short-term usage. The intention is that basically you can then choose the pot you want to put it into. They're not intended to stay in that little plastic pot forever. Now, the benefit of those pots is that they usually have holes in the bottom for drainage. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. But the downside is, is they're usually way too small for the plant. So I like to personally say, let's say that the little container came in is this big. I like to go for something at least double, you know, double the size for the next size pot. And that leaves it room to grow because you know that we are only going to grow our plant to the size of the container it's grown in because eventually it's going to fill up as much as it can. All the roots are going to take over the soil and that may take a few months. I could take a couple of years. But at the end of the day, it's only going to take, it's only going to be able to grow to the size of its environment. Now you can continuously transplant, but for me personally, I'd rather give it something bigger than it needs to avoid the need to transplant every six months or every year. That to me just seems like a lot of time. So I would much rather get a smaller plant in a bigger pot and then try to just finagle it to fit in perfectly to this pot that looks perfect for its size. So what we're going to be talking about right now is different types of pots. So this one here actually has a little bit of drainage. So there's tiny little holes that at the bottom here has this little lip. So if there's excess water rather than just sitting there and rotting out the roots, it will come out and form this little ring. And that's great. That's a very effective safeguard. I personally think that if you're going to get a pot, this is a nice little safety net to make sure you're not overwatering your plants. But if you don't have a drainage ring on the side of your pot, and let's just say it looks like this, there's no drainage ring, it's just no hole in the bottom, it's just a regular old pot. What you can do for that case is put some drainage rocks in there. So you can see I've got these drainage rocks, and it doesn't have to be anything crazy, just a thin layer, just enough that the roots have space to not get so drained or clogged up with water and also that the soil is not going to get so clogged with water. So honestly, a thin layer of these little drainage rocks. And again, these are not that big. Um, they come in different sizes. You know, these are tiny, but you know, basically you find like a, a rock driveway. You take a handful of those. That's what I do. I have this extra parking at my home here. So we have a lot of little rocks, drainage rocks. And so I will just take a handful and basically a handful in an average pot size is going to be enough. So there's a, there's a layer on the bottom. Um, it doesn't have to be inches. Just, just a nice layer. Again, you can always go with a bigger layer. That's totally cool. But for a pot this size, it's not terribly big. Um, so I don't want to fill it up with all drainage rocks. For a bigger pot, that may be a different story. But the moral of the story is setting up your plant for success in the right size pot, making it bigger than you may think it needs so it has room to grow, having drainage available, whether that's a drainage ring and or having some drainage rocks in there. And again, if it does not have a drainage ring, you absolutely want drainage rocks because the biggest way that people kill their plants is by overwatering. So looking forward to continuing to dive into the best ways to optimize our house plants, but it all starts with the plants home. What's up YouTube? Thanks for watching this video. This is actually a module that I had from the course House Plant Basics, your guide to healthy, happy plants, which is now entirely free on YouTube. So you can see the entire course. It's a mini course with a playlist I have linked here. And if you're into wellness, you're into gardening, you're into plants, Paul Connections is the channel for you. So I'd love for you to subscribe. If you found this interesting, we'd love to hear what you liked about it, what you'd like to see more of, and that really helps me to deliver the best content to you. So thank you so much for watching. Have the best day ever, and I'll see you soon.